guys in a world of tasha and ekin sue be more afraid of tasha hello everyone welcome back to my channel hello if you're new here i'm going to be reviewing love island season eight um episode 18 so today um obviously it starts off with being left off from last night um tasha i caught that she said that she recognizes charlie from hinge and i was like lol um if you don't know what hinge is it's basically a dating site um a dating app like tinder and stuff and um ekin sue looks really shocked um when they get a text saying that there's a recoupling um she because probably because she knew that at the time her place was a bit shaky but um to be fair the recoupling is not the same as a dumping they were just recoupling up today it didn't mean that anybody was getting dumped or anything thank god and then um tasha and andrew go to have a chat and then she basically says that she went into date with an open mind and says he was it was a good day and that she's and he was good looking and it was you know the chat flowed and blah 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 and um one thing i said i wrote that i i noted down basically tasha said that she feels like she has lost her sassiness um and she's lost like her bad b energy and one thing guys it's just really annoying because i feel like this happens a lot and it always goes unnoticed like tasha and ekin sue are the same types of people it's just that tasha is a bit more is just more slippery about it she's more um technical like she's more lo like she's more a bit more logical about it she basically said to andrew implying that because she has been with him <laughs> she's no longer the sassy bad b he has been she used to be and at first i was like why is she saying that and then i clocked it guys i clocked onto tasha's whole game so basically she was reversing the situation to make it look like she was the victim in that situation so look how i know this is how you can tell if someone's being manipulated so you you're the one who's annoyed right you have a conversation with a person who is annoying you and then all of a sudden they're the ones annoyed at you and you're like apologizing to them that is literally what happened in this episode it started off with andrea on smoke andrew being annoyed and by the end of it andrew was the one you know like stroking her trying to make her feel happy you know the one feeling sorry that is like next level manipulation like you guys maybe i'm reading too deep no in fact i'm not reading too deeply into this i know exactly what i'm talking about i know many kinds of people like tasha and what she that's exactly what she did guys so she said that she feels like she's not her sassy self anymore i don't know if we've been watching the same love island but i had never really saw a sassy side to tasha not gonna lie i know we don't see everything in a day but you get to get a real sense of people instead of the if to be honest what i have seen of tasha is that i do think she's a bit of a people pleaser i think she's a bit of a game player and i've been able to summarize this the whole time i've been watching love island antigone then has a little chat with jay um antigone i don't know what's happened to her she came in as a bombshell everyone loved her vibe all of a sudden we don't hear from her anymore i feel like when you go in as, as a bombshell you can't just become like a side character like i just felt like she could have you know just grafted a bit more like you know because that's your bombshell like when you come in as bombshells um even if in the real world you don't chase guys in love island it's not the real world um it's you're in a bubble so i felt like antigone should have done more grafting it kind of felt like she just went into the house and disappeared i don't know i just thought it was a bit weird and i'm so surprised because i thought that antigone and jay had a vibe i don't know where this love for Paige is coming from i'm really really confused i really thought jay and antigone were vibing anyways um lucas talking to andrew and he's saying like how can one hot top date change her mind about you which is true so basically luca is on andrew's side and he's like thinking that you know tasha's playing games and stuff and then tasha goes to have a chat with charlie and then she says oh god guys i can't take tasha seriously i'm so sorry she says um you the balls in your court what do you mean the balls in your courts so basically she was saying like to um charlie i'm not gonna tell you what to do but if you want me you can have me that's basically what she said like guys you guys need to wake up anyone who's feeling sorry for tasha or anyone who thinks that like you know she's the victim in this situation you guys need to open your eyes and realize that tasha is just very very schemy and slippery people like that they know how to get into people's minds because that's exactly what she's doing right now she's getting into people's mind and i know it might sound like harsh but it's the truth you know what she gives me she gives me lucy vibes lucy from season five 
that's the kind of vibe that Tasha gives me. You know, they'll get upset, they'll cry, they'll guilt trip you, but really and truly they're playing a game. Anyway, so when she said that, she was basically telling him, um, like, do what you want kind of thing like basically saying she's open if she wasn't interested she'll say nah you know what i'm more interested in thingy do you know what i mean like she didn't shut it down there's a problem you're not shutting it down you're not exactly leading it on you're leaving the door a little bit open like it's a it's an issue guys i just want andrew to wake up this is why nice guys finish last because they're not even nice they're just slow <laughs> like i've just <laughs> they're just slow you can be a nice guy or you can just be a slow like andrew is being slow literally people are telling you the same thing not everybody is crazy luca has told you dami has told you yourself your gut feeling has told you that you're being played but you decide to stay in situations where you're being played this is why people get played honestly guys i can't i actually can't it's too much like what this happens in real life so watching on tv it's a lot like he does she does not care about him and i know it's difficult to walk away but Sometimes you just have to, you know, be the bigger person and tell yourself, you know what, I'm not going to be a mug. But I feel like Andrew's being such a mug right now and I just want to tell him, wake up. But you know what, whatever. So the guys are on Andrew's side and um, they're basically saying that Sasha's trying to play him. And then it's time for the recoupling. Um, so everyone chooses, Luca chooses Gemma, obviously. Um, the only people who were surprising were, um, so Jay chooses Paige. I guess we saw that coming. Jax looked like he was angry. And I was thinking, what do you think was going to happen when you were basically saying, take her, take her, take her? What do you think was going to happen? Now your girl's been taken. Anyways, um, Jay chooses Paige. Um, Luca chooses Gemma, obviously. And also, I put that this down as well. You know that thing um, Luca always says when he's like, elephant juice? Ooh, I found that so cringy. I'm so sorry. I really can't stand that. I know it's a joke. It's meant to be like, I love you. But it's like, elephant juice. I just... Ooh, sorry, it's just not a bit of me. India and Dami finally get to be coupled up together properly. They can be a real couple, share a bed together. All of that shebang. And um, so, Jay... Um, no, not Jay. Charlie picked Ekin Sue. I didn't see that coming. I didn't know why Charlie picked Ekin Sue. I thought Charlie was gonna pick Tasha. Anyways, Charlie Charlie picks Ekin Sue. Um and um uh, obviously Andrew picks Tasha. Davide picked Antigone. And I felt so sorry for Danica. I kind of wanted Danica to move mad because you know, two days ago, or no, not even two days ago, yesterday Davide was eating her face off, and today he's you know picking someone else over her if i was her i'd be a little confused and i'd be like why did you do that it's just not really fair i don't think i think danica has really been dealt a bad hand this whole time and i feel like she's just been like dismissed and just been tossed like i would say something to davide why did you kiss me just to pick someone else it's just embarrassing but yeah davide picks picks antigone i don't even think danica uh, i don't even think davide likes either of them someone said this on twitter like davide doesn't like anyone he just likes himself that's the vibe he gives me i'm not gonna lie guys i'm not really here for D davide i've never really been here for him so i'm not the biggest fan but yeah i just thought that what he did to i just thought it was not nice um the way danica got dismissed so obviously Jax picks danica because there there's nobody else to pick so um before they left tasha was like why is everyone rolling their eyes blah 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 and then luke and dami basically have a chat with her and tell her that they try to explain themselves and they tell her that you know it seems as if she's settling for andrew because she's ready to know everyone who comes in and she's like oh well i don't want to say anything anymore because my my words keeps getting twisted up and they're like well we haven't twisted anything you've said really should repeating what you said you said if um andrew got dumped you would go home with him and all of a sudden now you want to get to know a new guy so they're getting onto her and i feel like this is what i noticed guys tasha um people are being really careful like when they're treading around her if it, if that was ekin sue Jax will be screaming across the room calling her a headache calling her a game player but because it's tasha and she has carried herself like this really like sweet girl harmless girl everyone is like treading around her like guys i don't think you guys understand like it's so deep and i don't want to go too into it because i know at the end of the day this is just love island but at the end of the day we're seeing real types of people here and like people like tasha are just the type of people that could fool everyone and you would you know can always make themselves the victim like i just can't get over the fact that the episode started off with andrew being mad at her and it ended off as andrew basically being apologetic towards her like if that's not manipulation i don't know what it is like you guys like it's so deep it's so deep i don't even want to i don't want to be too passionate about it 
but yeah anyways um jackson page obviously like are not in a couple anymore they're like get, they're like talking kissing everything um and uh at night they're like holding each other's hand mm, not gonna lie i'm not really here for jackson page i'm here for page but i'm not here for jacks um i don't really like jacks to be honest um yeah I'm, i don't really like jacks i don't see it working in the long term to be very honest i hope i'm proved wrong because i do like Paige and i want the best for her but there's something about jacks that my spirit just doesn't agree with so i don't like i don't like jacks but so i don't really care for them basically is what i'm saying and um, i noticed before the episode ended tasha kept saying that she had changed and i was just like what are you talking about like you're saying you've lost yourself why is this the right moment to say that so basically are you trying to say you've lost yourself that's why you're getting ready to know everyone like I, I don't i just don't understand guys i don't know let me know guys what you think do you think that tasha is giving lucy vibes from season five or do you think i'm being too harsh let me know honestly because i like to talk about these things because i want to see you guys' perspective i think their life is all about perspective guys this episode i felt like it was a bit too jumpy there was quite a bit going on there was the tasha situation going on and then um there was the jackson page i don't know there was just a, a quite a lot of things it was hard for me to kind of like focus anyways you see a preview of sunday night turns out i think dami and india i think they're on a date together things are moving on with them i'm so here for india and dami guys if india and dami survive casa and more they could be the first black couple to win love island could i'm hoping i'm actually really one can only hope but yeah guys let me know what you guys think of this review let me get let me know what you guys think of this um episode i can't lie um I found it really hard to focus when I filmed. No, don't know if you guys can tell, but I hope you guys could follow my review. Let me know what you guys thought, what you agreed with, what you did agree with. Make sure you leave a comment, like, subscribe, and yeah, I love you guys, and I'll see you guys Sunday night. Bye.